We are counting down to the start of the new Premier League season. Manchester City will be aiming to make it back-to-back -back titles. And we can hear from Phil Foden now, who's been speaking to our reporter Rob Dorset at a Premier League kick session. Did you have much of a holiday? I mean, it was such a quick turnaround from, from the Euros. Obviously, I had a little girl recently and I've had an injury as well. So, unfortunately, I didn't get away. Uh, but, you know, I've, I've stayed here and tried to, tried to get back fit and hopefully I can be back on the pitch soon. How is the foot? Um, it's still a little bit sore. Um, you know, it's such a shame to do it just before the Euro final. Um, it was really unfortunate, but, you know, I'm working hard in the gym. And, yeah, hopefully I can get back as soon as possible. Any ideas of how long till you're actually, actually play, able to play again? I would say around three to four weeks more. So, yeah, I'm hopefully, hopefully it flies by and I can just get back on the pitch. You mentioned the Euros final there. I mean, you've been such a big part of that England squad and, and the starting eleven to, to get to the final and to miss out because of that on the, you know, the biggest occasion any England team's had in 55 years. Can you try and put that into words? No, you know, I remember speaking to the manager when I got injured and, you know, I just burst out crying um, into tears with devastation that I was injured. But, you know, I was just, I was just praying on that day that the, t the team won and it was unfortunate that we didn't. But, you know, we have to be proud of ourselves, what we did. We created history getting to the final. Um, and I think next time we go into a major tournament, it can only help us. That was my next question. I mean, the belief that you can take from that after the disappointment subsides for the World Cup in Qatar, it's only 18 months away. This team will be stronger for that, won't it? Yeah, it was so good to see in the change room all together. Everyone was. Um, and yeah, it was a special um, a moment to share with the team. And coming the World Cup, I feel like them experiences at Wembley can only help us. The hair's back being dark black then. What was all that? It was literally just a, a tournament thing then, was it, that bleach? It's just so hard to keep on top of. Like, every three days I'd have to... So you haven't dyed it black, out. it's literally just gone back to... His I've, I've dyed it back black, yeah, so it's going to go back to my normal colour um, in a couple of weeks. So, so yeah, it's much easier, <laughs> believe me. <laughs> um, look, I'm, I want to ask you about last season. PFA Young Player of the Season won the Premier League title, won the Carabao Cup. Um, a key part of of England, you, you got to the Champions League final as well. Extraordinary success for you as an individual at the age of 21, and for most of that, you're actually 20 years old. Have you had a chance to soak all that up and realise just what a, a massive season it was for you? I think as a footballer, you never really get a chance until the end of your career to fully think about um, you know the seasons previous, because it just restarts again. You know, we're in a new season now starting, and my main focus is just on this year, and trying to win trophies again and trying to, trying to win the league again. But you know, we got to the final of the Champions League, I think that's one on our list that we, that we want to win. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping this year um, we can try and go that one step further. You've got a certain Jack Grealish, who you know very well now, and you're quite close, you two, aren't you? You've become yeah, quite close. Yeah, we are, we are close. Um, yeah, when I first went to England, um, we just got on really well, on and off the pitch. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy that I signed here and um, hopefully I can just get back playing with him and, and enjoying my football. Um, just he's fearless on the ball. Um, he can just change a game on his own. So I believe that um, he's a really special player for us this year and he's going to be key for us. There's so much attacking talent in this Manchester City side. I mean, it's more competition for you, of course. But I wonder, after that amazing season you had last season, can you ever feel like a fixture in the side? Can you ever feel comfortable because there's such a, a, a wealth of quality? You know, the manager likes to rotate. There's a, there's a lot of games to be played. Um, so I'm sure there just won't be one eleven for the full year. Everyone's going to play a part. So, you know, everyone's happy about that. They're, they're, they're ready to play and um, the manager makes us feel loved. So, so it's really nice. And what about defending that title? The trophy's just behind you there. You worked so hard to win it. How, is, is it going to be tougher this year? And, and who do you see as your main competition, do you think? Yeah, I believe, you know, once you've won it, it's, it's really hard to retain it. So going into this season, we're going to be the team to beat. Um, but, you know, we're going to have to live up to that um, with the players we've got. Um, and, yeah, I'm just confident and I can't wait to go. Do you think Chelsea and Liverpool are, are the closest contenders for you? Um, I don't really know. There's, there's so many great teams in the league. That's um, the fun of the Premier League. So I couldn't give you one opponent. You know, everyone's strengthened this season. It's going to be a really challenging season.